This is from Mark. He's uh, here tonight. Stop this fucking time change crap twice a year. This is from Ken Walker, who's here. Daylight savings. Tonight we change the clocks again and fall back an hour. Let me tell you why this bullshit especially sucks for my household. I have three kids, ages 5, 9, and 11. The 11-year-old wakes up every day between 5 to 5.30 a.m. This means I haven't slept in for 11 fucking years! <laughs> so tomorrow, my house is going to be bustling with little monsters at 4 fuck a.m. <laughs> Who do we do this shit for? I don't live on a fucking farm. So it's not like I need to send the kids out to milk the cows. At least I'll have plenty of time to update my clocks in the house, including trying to get the three clocks in the kitchen to fucking sync up. Fuck daylight fucking savings. <laughs> Mary Jane Devine. When is his daylight savings time this weekend? Or it's next? It's when? Next weekend, right? Yeah, I thought so. Fuck. Do we really have to spring forward? Why don't we stay on standard time? In fact, some folks want to move to all daylight time. So it's okay with these folks to take away an hour from everybody so that it'll be light a little earlier for two weeks. By then, it would be lighter at 7 p.m. on its own without any effort at all. <laughs> Mary, Jane Devine, if, and when you're leaving, uh, please tell Len uh, the one at the merch table. It, it, daylight savings time breaks him. For like two weeks, we have to fucking, we get on the bus, he goes, how you doing? I'd, I haven't recovered from daylight savings time. <laughs> I've still got my watch on standard time. I can't handle this. I can't. I said, this is like the five millionth time you've been through this. You've got to fucking, no, no, this is awful. And so, <laughs> so please let him know that there's somebody else because the rest of us go, fuck you, you idiot. <laughs> please rant about the fucking madness called daylight savings time. Twice a year. I have to have my sleep screwed up for two weeks, about the same amount of time that it makes a difference. All my animals don't understand what the fuck is going on. <laughs> for some reason, they can't read, they didn't read the memo about this. And the madness now. Uh, this is from Tim. Uh, Tim, I, I, I don't know if you realize this, I'm not in charge of it. <laughs> I want to be. I would make it the thing all year round. I'd make it daily. That would what I would do. I, and it fucks you. This is what stupid is now, where we lose an hour, and we shouldn't lose an hour. And what you should do, Tim, is to go in an hour late for work. That's what you do. Go an hour late, you fucker. Don't let this fucking daylight savings time control you. You have control of the clock. Gather your animals together, explain it to them. <laughs> Apparently, you have a flock of them. It's, and once you, you, I mean it, it's, it's just, I don't know why we do this to ourselves. How do you come up with a goddamn concept like this? We're going to lose an hour. Why would we want to lose a fucking hour? Life is goddamn it. And in the middle of the fucking night, when it's sleepy time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Every workplace should say on the, the Monday fucking following that weekend. And you know what? It should be, the fucking Monday should be off. Fuck them. <laughs> and for those of you who think I have any effect on anything, I guarantee you that's not going to fucking happen. This is from my friend, Emily Bernard. I'm going to do two pieces in a row about daylight savings time. And I really appreciate you coming out when, it's, when they're going to fuck us with the clock. <laughs> Fucking daylight savings. Why the fuck do we give ourselves jet lag twice a year? <laughs> and exacerbate our seasonal affective disorder every winter. It doesn't benefit farmers because farm animals and crops don't give a shit what the clock says. <laughs> it doesn't save energy. George W. Bush, if anything, we use more lighting the longer, darker winter days. There's no fucking reason for it. Just stop already! Um, when you
And when you go out, my friend Lenny, who uh, I went to, actually went to high school with, who's selling merch on, out there, um, he, uh, he, the, it, 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 daylight savings time actually mentally breaks him down. So if you could just pat him on the shoulder and say it's going to be okay. <laughs> this is a longer explanation of how fucked it is. Richard Claridge, Claridge, I'm not, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Richard. Uh, Lewis, I just got home from a long road trip with the, my wife and kids, and one of the kids. I was tired of driving and asked my wife if she would mind taking over for an hour. She said she didn't want to. It made me an offer that if I finished the drive, she would give me what every husband wants, to sleep until 9.30. <laughs> I know you don't have a wife or kids, so just trust me that this is the gold standard of marital giving. <laughs> I was ecstatic, two extra hours without the tantrums of two little shits begging for food and getting pissed off that it's not to their specifications. <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> but. My jubilation was subdued when I realized that my reward would not be what I expected. For tonight would be the stupid fuck biannual ritual of changing the fucking clocks. <laughs> Costing me an hour of precious sleep. What makes this worse is that my kids don't know what time it is. They operate by the sun, like humans did for all history. Ever try to explain to a five-year-old why we change clocks? I did. Her response? That's stupid poopy. <laughs> stupid poopy? In all my life, I never dreamed of such eloquence. <laughs> Certainly she has a greater grasp of the English language than, say, our president. <laughs> why the fuck do we do this shit anyway? Does anyone benefit? And why the fuck did the kitchen appliance manufacturers put clocks on both the oven and the micro fucking way? <laughs> We need two fucking clocks in one room? <laughs> Did you realize that in Phoenix they're so fucking stupid that they decided to live in a desert, but they were smart enough not to change the fucking clocks? Holy fuck! <laughs> in this day of extreme partisanship, why has no one thought to run for office on the singular issue of the ending this cycle of bullshit? I'll bet if Elizabeth Warren, former Harvard fucking professor, thought of this, she would have finished higher than third in her own fucking state. <laughs> Donald Trump once tweeted that ending the changing the clocks would be fine by me. Great, this shit is so fucking stupid that it makes the orange face Muppet look intelligent. <laughs> but I digress. Maybe I can get an IOU on my extra sleep. Here's hoping. I doubt it. This is from Ted Williams. I, I wouldn't say the last name except that I thought he was dead. <laughs> and the, it, this is, and if it is Ted Williams, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in any performance. It's from his head. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's, <laughs> hey, Lewis, what do you think about daylight savings time? I think it sucks. It's a bunch of crap. When I was young, I was told, oh, it's to save electricity. But I thought to myself, even back then, all that does is move electric use from one part of the day to the other. Even as a child, I knew it was bullshit. <laughs> Businesses love it, realizing, oh, this is great, more time for people to shop after work. So daylight savings time keeps getting extended. And now it lasts nearly eight months. At what fucking point does it become standard time? It's all bullshit. My body gets used to daylight savings time, then we change the clock. And when I finally adjust to standard time, we change the fucking clock again. My now fucked up internal circadian clock looks at me twice a year and says, what the fuck are you doing? So what's being done about this? Nothing. We continue to masochistically commit self-inflicted wounds for no fucking reason. I know. Let's take our schizophrenic, sleep-deprived, overworked society and do as much damage as we can by changing the fucking clock twice a year. <laughs> you politicians want to help the middle class? Start by getting rid of the fucking useless, archaic, meaningless, bullshit daylight savings time. Thank you, Stanford. Thanks for watching at home. Thanks, Ted. Take care of each other. It's been a pleasure.